Hi, this is Harish Bali from technofair.com. Quick review of one shot screen recorder. To download this screen recorder, go to Play Store and look for one shot. This is an Android screen recorder. Its features are pretty simple to use. It's developed by Make EZ. I have already installed it on my Android device. I am opening it. Anyone using Android screen recorder for the first time will find one shot to be very user friendly. We are right now on the gallery section. Go to settings and do the basic settings under general section. This allows you to set the path. It's currently set to SD card. So any video that you create will get saved to SD card. You may decide to change the same. This allows you to set the stop mode, whether you want to stop the recording on screen off or on device shaking. Touch indicator. This one is pretty useful, especially when you are highlighting something on the screen. So depending upon your requirement, you may change it. You can also decide upon the time limit for the video recording in minutes and seconds. So I'm not currently putting a limit to it. Good thing that I like about this particular app one shot is its video recording settings. Bitrate and frame rate are two parameters for high quality video recording. This app supports bitrate from 1 Mbps to 50 Mbps and it also supports a frame rate from 24 FPS to 60 frames per second which is higher as compared to other apps which offer similar services. Orientation can be portrait, landscape or it's currently set to auto resolution. This is also a needed parameter for high quality video recording. It supports 720p. I have set it to fit device screen which is a pretty decent setting to do. These are the three settings for the audio. You may enable or disable microphone of the device basis your need. Then bit rate or sampling rate for the audio can also be changed. After having made the setting preferences, head over to top right and click on this icon. This is for starting the video. One shot free will start capturing everything that's displayed on your screen. Start now. It's ready to start. So I go back to the home screen and then simply tap on this red recording button icon. I'm moving it around and recording will start. Right now it has already started recording. This is the make EZ icon that you will see on the top left. It will continue to appear as long as recording is under progress. Right now I'm moving my finger from bottom to top and top to bottom on the screen. You can see this small little circle. This is appearing because we made the setting show movement on the screen. Now to stop recording, go to top and move your finger from top to bottom like this and tap on stop. To remove this recording icon from the screen, do a long press on the icon and drag it to this cross button. This will go. Now to see the recorded video, Go back to the app, one shot free. This is the video that I have just recorded, 720 into 1280 resolution. There are four things that can be done for the video. One, of course, you can play it from the first icon. Second is, this allows for sharing. Third thing that can be done is, trimming of the video through this pencil shaped icon. Drag this to the point from where you want to trim. So if I drop it here at 40 seconds, this will trim the video after 40 seconds. I may decide to change the file name from here. 123 is the new file name. And once this is done, simply tap on this top right icon to have the trimming done. Since this is an experimental feature, so they are saying that you should save the original video somewhere before you confirm it. Okay. I've got two videos now. First one is the trimmed one where I cut 40 seconds. And second one is the original video, 2 minutes and 7 seconds. Fourth icon is to delete the video that you have recorded. One shot also allows you to trim videos downloaded from other sources. For that, go to settings, identify the video and trim it using this particular icon. While currently it's set to experimental mode, so I don't really know whether they are going to bring a pro mode of it or they are going to offer it for free. One shot may not really have too many features under its settings, but if you talk about video parameters for high quality video recording, it really does its job. 
and user interface is really easy to follow. If you found this review interesting, do give it a thumbs up. Also watch other interesting videos by clicking on the links appearing in front of your screen. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching.